What's going on guys? I just wanted to share a funny collaboration with you that I found that I think you might actually appreciate and that would be legit no joke officially licensed Chainsaw Man perfume. Let's check these out. I'll give you guys my 100% thought on these. So essentially this is going to be four different fragrances, Denji, Makima, Aki, and Power. They all get their own little like perfume bottle and dude, it is just so so funny. Like you guys got to you guys got to look at these. All right, so here's the Denji one. The packaging is honestly really good like I love this little label right here you got some chainsaw on there it says Denji on it I think the bottles look amazing I think the overall packaging is stunning it looks so good CSM chainsaw man you know fragrance we got the Denji chainsaw man and then we get like a little cut out like little drawing like a little representation I, I love that I mean we can look at all of these I think they look terrific I mean here's Makima's I mean look at the little like design on here it's just so clean it looks really really good aki of course we've got like the little eyeball on there we've got it all over his little thing and then power you know dude it's just i think that the packaging looks so good but okay let's just talk about a couple things let's talk about when the collaboration is available of course the price we got to cover all of that i want to talk about the weirdness of this collaboration so this is collaborations are something that i i i tend to want to claim that i specialize in i love talking about collaborations the most like, because i basically study them every freaking day but here's the thing with this collaboration as odd as it may be that is honestly what makes collaborations sometimes extremely successful and extremely cool and fun but also very limited because there's definitely a chance we will i would say a very good chance we'll never see a chainsaw man perfume again in our lifetime like this is just such a random thing i don't know if this is highly collectible but i feel like if you're a fan of chainsaw man this is something you could totally collect okay let's talk about the actual the actual flavors here the actual fragrance if you will this is where it gets a little bit weird because in the world of chainsaw man i mean you definitely have to know that a lot of these characters kind of pride themselves in not bathing or showering and i'm pretty sure that power smells like crap, right? Like that's that's a known thing. Like she says that. Okay, so Denji's, each one of these has like a theme with the fragrance as well, which I like. I like that they didn't just slap in like some common fragrance for all of these. They all have a lot of thought. That's another thing about this collaboration is it has a ton of thought into it, like more than a lot of other collaborations. So Denji's is a, a blend of fragrances, uh, frankincense, juniper, cypress, and saddlewood, inspired by his many different potential destinies. Like, <laughs> what? That is just so random. Dude, they get better, though. They get better. Okay, so Makima, this one's great. Makima's is a sweet yet mysterious blend of mandarin, rose, peony, and musk. Bro, what is musk? Like, what, what flavor is musk? I like the other stuff. Mandarin, rose, peony, and then, dude, you just get a, a, a hint of musk. Like, musk sounds a little bit sus to me. Okay, this one's great. This one's great. Aki's is awesome. Sweet and spicy at the same time. We've got bergamot which i don't even know what that is black pepper and pine dude like i don't even want that i don't even want to smell like black pepper like i don't even like pepper that much that just seems too crazy that seems too crazy and here's powers hers is literally a sweet blend of strawberries and cream and an end note of musk dude once again why do you want to smell like power power stinks i mean you get like the berries and cream and then just musk like does it even smell good I don't know. I'll, I'll have a link in the description, but basically this is where you can purchase this. One thing to notice that hopefully you're watching this at a, uh, at a good time because the, the pre-order period doesn't even start until June 26th. So six days from when I'm filming this, I don't know, maybe five days from when I post it, but it will say that it's sold out. You can see right here sold out, but they're not actually sold out. So the pay, the uh, pre-order period just hasn't started yet. Uh, one other thing too is on this website, it actually does ship to the U S which is cool because a lot of Japanese exclusive things are Japanese exclusive and you have to fire up some kind of proxy to use them. You can actually just like pay a little bit of shipping for the worldwide shipping. So let's take a look at one of these. The nice part is, yeah, this will go up on sale. It's even got its own little like promo video. Look at these, look at those. They look cool, man. I think they look awesome. I think this is a collaboration we'll never see again. And as far as just like having it or having a collectible, I just literally think the uniqueness of this collaboration is what makes it. So the price of these is going to come down to about 7,100 Japanese yen, which translate to about 50 US dollars. So I'm guessing, I don't know how much it's going to cost to get it shipped to the US, but that's all I know. And I thought I would just come on here, share with you guys this fun little collaboration. I think it's awesome. I think it's extremely unique. Let me know what you guys think and let me know if you guys would get one of these. I personally, if I'm going to get one, 
it's got to be Aki's. I think Aki's just looks the best, and that's got to be it, you guys. All right, thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in to the Collaboration channel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the next video.